So I received a death threat last night. So it made me think about some stuff. People can't tell if I'm a psychopath or if I'm spiritually enlightened. Because <clears throat> think about it. When you're spiritually enlightened, you can live in a cardboard box and you're, and you're, and you're good to go. You're happy. <coughs> Excuse me. You're happy, you're content, whatever. Most people would view this as insanity. You're living in a cardboard box and you're happy. Well, that person can't be well. Um, I don't live in a cardboard box, but I do live in my I do live in my gym. Uh, a friend from last year, who this is actually my second death threat, by the way. This is the second time I've been woken up in the middle of the night with a phone call. Seem twelve o'clock at midnight seems to be the night when people freak out. Um, so. Basically what happened was, uh, for the last year or so, I've known this girl, and when she first met me, I was, I was myself. I was kind of attention-seeking. I was telling a lot of jokes. I was basically telling a lot of jokes and being really funny and all this stuff to make other people laugh so that I would receive their love. It was kind of like a way of, the ESTP way of making, you know, for my if those of you who follow my Myers-Briggs channel, um, it's the ESTP way of gaining love and attention. It's making people laugh. Okay, uh, ENTPs do it too, I think. Uh, but um, and so this was my usual behavior. She hasn't seen me. She's seen me twice in the in the past year, or she's seen me three times. At first, I. I lived with this guy, and she was there like every other day. So she saw me like every every couple days or so. So she, more or less, we're neighbors or roommates, and uh, so she she knew me pretty well then. And then she's seen me twice since then. Okay, we're really good friends. I've dropped by once every once every five months. I drop by to just say hi and hang out, and like I, like I went to the store and bought a bag of steaks and then brought them to their house and we cooked them up on the grill. And, uh, th and basically, they, how, how, how did this go? They, um, she has noticed, she has noticed that I am no longer attention seeking or I'm no longer who I used to be. I'm just chilling. Like I go to their house and I'm just, I'm just sitting there. I'm just like waiting and my jokes are really goofy um, but they're not the same jokes I used to have. The jokes I used to have, I would like, I'd be like shouting obscenities and stuff like that. And like, uh, yeah, I'd be like shouting obscenities and, and I, and I, I can still do that. But, but the reason I did it was to gain attention, basically to make them laugh because it was so absurd. And then they would, uh, their laughter would make me feel good. So that's how I used to do it. And now I'm just like chilling. I'm just hanging out. And the reason I'm there is not to make them laugh, but to just genuinely hang out with them because I enjoy hanging out with them. So she thinks that because I no longer act this way, there's this change that has come over me. And she has noticed this change. And now she is, well, there's a couple other factors that play into this, but she thinks I'm being manipulative. She thinks I'm just like manipulating her because she's projecting. Because she's a she she's like a Myers Briggs INFJ, so she's project she she's projecting, and so she's uh, she's manipulative and disingenuine uh, and says things to and, and becomes things so the other person will give her what she wants. And so because I'm not – and so because I'm no longer who I used to be, she thinks I'm, I'm being manipulative. So she can't tell – she has noticed that I don't care. Like I'm, 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 my ambition is pretty much gone. I don't really care about anything. I just want to – honestly, I just want to retire. I want to like – I've said this before in a couple, of, in a couple comments in, in my comment section below. 
what I really want to do is just at the moment the only thing I can th think of is uh, getting a home and starting a paintball field with my friends and my wife like that's that's what I want to do at the moment that might I might do more than that later but really that's all I want to do um, I own a gym here but I also want to start a paintball field and so because that's all I want to do and, and my ambition, it's very obvious that my ambition is like gone. Like, so she thinks something is seriously wrong because my ambition has disappeared because the reason I was ambitious was because I was trying to build a home. But now that I have that, now that I'm cool and I've got a wife and, you know, I got somebody who loves me and stuff like this, I'm a different person. And so now that I'm a different person, it or I'm, I'm not a different person. I, I'm who I am. It's just more apparent. Who I really am is just more apparent now. I'm just more genuine now than I used to be. Um, she can't tell if I've given up on life, lost all my ambition, and there's something seriously wrong with me, or if God exists and... Or, or, or God exists, and I'm just at peace. She can't tell the difference. Now, she's faced with this choice. God exists, or God doesn't. And this is what, this is what goes through her mind. God exists, friends with Jay. I'm going to hell. God doesn't exist, not friends with Jay, not going to hell. So now she's having this battle, and she's basically going insane. And she called me last night with a death threat. She threatened to kill me. It's a little complicated, but there were some things like I didn't pay for the pizza the way it was supposed. To, like I didn't pay enough for the pizza, or some, or I don't know. We bought a pizza, and I didn't. I gave. I I chipped in like three bucks when I guess I should have chipped in like ten or something, but. It was something really, really stupid. She called me in the middle of the night demanding money, threatening to kill me, and she was trying to make it sound like a joke, but you don't call somebody at 12 in the, at midnight making a joke, demanding money, and sounding angry. So she's basically losing her mind at the moment. And uh, so this is, this is what happens. This is, this is what has happened mul on multiple occasions. Um, this is actually the second time I've been woken up in the middle of the night. The first time I was just lying here on my couch and I got a phone call with some, some guy named Pastor Rick who I don't even know, uh, but apparently he was pissed off at me. So that was weird. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my life. Um... <laughs> There's also a little bit more than that, uh, but yeah, it's uh, because the reason she she would realize that she's going to hell is because she's manipulative, she's a liar, she's this and that, and disingenuine, and does all these things. She has this really dark past. She knows all the rules of the Bible, and she knows that. And the only reason she would not believe in God is because she's done all this bad stuff. And she'd be going to hell. That's the only reason she she has she would not believe in God. So now she's flipping out. Uh, she's afraid she's going to go to hell. She can be forgiven like this, you know. That's how Jesus works. But but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So uh, hoping hoping she comes to her senses. And uh, this is not the first time this has happened. Um. There's been other people, and this is actually a pretty common occurrence to me now, is pretty much every single person I grew up with now thinks I'm either in, thinks I've gone insane or, or I'm telling the truth, but they're not really sure. Most of them are Enneagram sixes, and they look at me and they don't even they don't even recognize who, they don't recognize me from who I was when I grew up. So it's uh, you know, so if you don't believe in God, how do you know? How do you know if this person is insane or or being genuine? Well, if you don't believe in God, 
obviously he's going to look insane. He's he's not like other people. He's reached this spiritual enlightenment. God takes care of him. Money falls from the sky, so he doesn't have any fear anymore. He's got everything he needs. He's got a wife. He's got perfect love. He's he's got like he's got this ability to connect with people deeply. Um, he doesn't need to put on flashy displays anymore. He doesn't need to attract attention. He doesn't need to do any of that stuff that he used to need to do. He didn't need to control other people in order to get what he wanted. He has it all. He, whatever he wants, he, he can get it. So how do you know if that person I've, – I've had people I, – I have one friend. He's a Myers-Briggs ISTP. He no longer talks to me because he realized I have nothing that I'm scared of losing. And so in the world of God doesn't exist, that means I'm not to be trusted and I'm actually a psychopath. Like like, like some quote from Fight Club came up in his mind, never trust a man with nothing to lose or something like that. So technically I have nothing to lose and that really, really scares people. It's like I have nothing to lose because there, there's nothing in my life. But I'm okay. I'm just chilling. I'm just here. But people see that and they kind of project themselves into me and they're like, holy shit, this guy's out of his fucking mind. Oh my god. Ah! So projection is just rampant in my life right now. And so, uh, so it's becoming more apparent to me why a lot of things are happening. Why I'm stuck in the gym. This is all, apparently, this is all for my safety. And I'm just standing here, I'm just sitting here watching the world around me, watching myself become more at peace and everybody else around me become more insane. It's really quite a trip. How do you, who's insane? Am I insane? Do I sound insane? Do my videos really sound in, that insane? They still make sense, don't they? I mean, come on. Give, give me some credit here. My videos make sense. I'm not a stupid person, okay? I'm really not that, I mean... I, it's debatable if I'm I'm crazy, crazy, okay, but mentally ill, eh, maybe I'm just telling the truth. Maybe I am enlightened, and I'm actually wit witnessing everyone else come to terms with their insanity. Um, yeah, so being a, being a Christian is quite a trip. Uh, it's actually a nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. Like, it's, um, just imagine... You know, put yourself in. Let's let's assume that God exists for a minute here. I want you to stand in my shoes. I'm immortal, and all the people around me are not. And they're all. And, and I'm immortal, and I have money falling from the sky, and I can do whatever I want, and I have love, and I'm content. <clears throat> However, everybody around me is selfish, manipulative. Selfish and manipulative because they're scared they won't get money or love. So they're doing everything they can to get money or love. So I'm sitting here just chilling and everybody around me is like, I'm just wa I just see the truth. I just see how everybody s puts on a smile and speaks to everybody else and says this to get this specific reaction. And basically everyone I see is just this liar. It's awful. There's like one or two people who are actually genuine in my life. There's this guy who's an ISFP. He's super genuine. Um, love the guy. He's great. Uh, he's, he's very tragically genuine. He's tragically genuine. He is tragically genuine. Uh, kind of like me, actually. He, he, that's why we actually have a lot in common for this reason. We're both tragically genuine. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just... it's. It's madness. It's insanity. You sit here and you watch people losing their minds. And the and, and here's the great part is that the less fear you have, the more they think you don't care. So basically, they care. They care okay? They're going around trying to get their way and trying to make people do things for them and trying to, you know, make things happen. They're being controlling and manipulative to get their way. That's human that's human nature. Everybody's controlling and manipulative to get their way. They're trying to make friend they're they're being nice so that they can get so they can get something in return. That's what a lot of that's what that's human nature. And so everybody's doing this. And so because I'm not doing this, because I will go out and I'll just greet people 
genuinely not desiring anything, it doesn't make any sense to these people and it drives them nuts. And so because I'm not afraid, because I'm just chilling and I'm at peace, I'm not afraid. And so because they see this lack of fear, they think I don't care. The truth is I don't care. I don't care about manipulating people to get what I want because I've already got everything I want. So yes, you're right. I don't care. But these people seem to think that because I don't care, that means I'm mentally ill. So the hard part about being a, a, a godly person, a holy person, is the fact that everyone around you is insane. It's, 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 everyone around you is legitimately insane. You used to be one of them. You used to be this zombie that was selfish and manipulative, and now you're not. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. But, uh, yeah, see you later.